that he began a killing spree, so there was no way it didn't exist. She started crying as if that wouldn't be the case. Then she wondered why her parents would have died and asked for her explanation. The witch was stunned as she doubted her answer that he began a killing spree, so there was no way it didn't exist. She started crying as if that wouldn't be the case. Then she wondered why her parents would have died. Thank you. 
The beginning of a season is a great time to jump into a new mode, and if you're starting up my career in NBA 2K24, you'll bump in. A uh, shot from earlier as the Miami team bus arrived at the arena. The players gearing up for a tough contest away from home. Welcome to 2K Sports, everyone. We have some exciting... So a look at our starters for the Heat. out there with Brandon Clark then it's Giannis Antetokounmpo then it's Ben Simmons and it's Levine in at the two and for the Thunder Nick Richards out there with Evan Mobley then there's CJ McCollum then it's Robert Covington and it's Leonard in at the point well there may be a lot of games ahead but game one of the regular season is always a little extra special, Grant. Yeah, no question about it. This is a game everyone looks forward to to start the season off on the right foot. I can't tell you how huge it is for a team's confidence to get a win on opening night, but it's definitely one everyone is looking forward to. Jacks up a three. Rebound by the Heat. Lana Nakumpo outside. Pass to Levine. And he gets it to go. You have to love how persistent Levine is inside, enduring the contact and finding his shot. Richards with it. Good D by Clark. Here's McDaniels. Got it. Good job Jimmy in the low McDaniels. post. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Covington passes to Richards. And here's Mobley. Pass to Leonard. Five on the clock. And so the ball out of bounds. On it, Akupo touched it last.
Clock at four. Here's Leonard. Yeah, a little bit surprising he hasn't connected on at least one of his three shots yet, but uh, he's going to keep shooting. Here's Levine. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. Giannis anticipating there and just creates his own chance. Outside Covington. stops from anywhere on the team. Well, that's a, a healthy make there after missing their first four shots. One of five, not what they wanted, but they're on the board. And the summer, one of the Heat's own, Dwayne Wade, inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame brand. What an amazing big game performer Dwayne Wade was during his entire career. 13-time All-Star, three-time champion, and he brought the organization their first title. That just says it right there. Dwayne Wade, the foundation, the rock, of the Miami Heat. Free throw no good for Mobley. Well, Brent, this Thunder team is so young, but poised to be a factor now. How much does the playing experience factor in for these young guys? Well, I think it's huge, B.A. They're going to be hungry. It's so crucial for young players because the next time that they're there, it's not going to be the first time. So this team is going in the right direction. Clark against Covington. Outside Simmons. Doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Richards. Pass to Mobley. And here's McCollum. Now Covington. Here's Leonard. Over on it Kumpo. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. And you look at the Thunder. Talk about a team that's drafted well. It's hard to see out the window in Oklahoma City with how much they've stockpiled their picks in that front office. It's about making good use of them, B.A. When are they going to plant a flag in the ground that these are our guys moving forward? They have some young studs. I'm curious about when that time is. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. Well, we always hear about heat culture. How would you define it, Brent? Well, I think what they do is just find guys who are hungry. And then they do a great job of starving you during the year. And what I mean by that is just making it competitive. You're going to earn everything you get if you're a member of the Miami Heat, and that includes playing time. And he sinks the second. Leonard with the ball. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. break let's take a look at the teams that were the toughest to score against last year second the heat they made life hard on opponents one of the best defenses in the nba last year miami on d outside covington back to leonard Shoots off the step back, and he hits the jump shot. And Kawhi Leonard will gladly take that look. And here's Ana Kumpo. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. Three-point lead. Pass to Simmons. And there's the rejection. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And Oklahoma City called for the foul. Two shots.
break. Big break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. That one misses. For Oklahoma City, they've gone only two of six from the field. Leonard against Levine. Pass to McCullum. Shot on the wing. Count it. Well, he knows how to get the shot off at any time on that pick and roll. Natural instincts taking over. And the experience helping McCollum as well. Simmons finds McDaniels. Yes. And that's Simmons with the assist. McDaniels got his second basket on the night. The Thunder have gone only three for nine from the floor. McCullum coming off a solid outing against Sacramento. Here's the three. Knocks down the long C.J. McCullum's got five now. Well, the coach has confidence in C.J. taking that shot, and so C.J. has confidence in making it. Tipped away and stolen by Covington. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Simmons, the pass to Anadokounmpo, and he gets that one. The defense knows Giannis demands 100% effort, but he's still managing to carve him up. Now here's Leonard. Pass to Richards. Leonard looking over the floor. Fires it. That one falls. His second make in five attempts. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Knocked away. And stolen by Leonard. Now here's McCullum. Levine with a steal. Fast break Miami. Covington against McDaniels. Covington with a block. The rejection. Covington, good job defensively. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. The Heat have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Pass to Simmons. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. You got to keep that head up, and Levine knows that. Able to hit his man in stride there. McCullum against Levine. And it's McCullum penetrating. On an Akumpo with the block. Simmons with it. On an Akumpo outside. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Back to Leonard. Clock at six. No good there. Off the double clutch. Maybe a time to rest him right now. Just give him a bit of a breather. Try to help him get back on track. Back to Daniels. The putback. They shoot again. And the basket by Clark. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Just work and work on the boards. Generate second chance opportunities. And hopefully convert. And the Thunder call time here. So Oklahoma City going with almost an entire new group here. Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for Richards. Bogdanovich comes in for Covington. Jones, he's checked in for C.J. McCollum. And it's Wall in for Leonard. Now here's Bogdanovich to the middle. Here's Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. 
you want to lead by an example. Bogdanovich leading the way with the assist. For Miami, they've gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Here's Whitmore, covered by Mobley. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonas Valanciunas. That's his first foul of the game. Mike Conley's checked in for Simmons. Mike Conley. Miami has possession. Here's Whitmore. And the first shot of the night for him. Missing. That they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. Down low. Here's Jones. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. And so it's Levine with it. He brings it up for the Heat. Here's Bridges. Pass to Whitmore. Three-pointer. Nails it from beyond the arc. Well, he passes to the wide open man, Bridges, developing some team chemistry. Conley against Wall. Bogdanovich with it. Now here's Mobley. Shot clock at five. Wall, no good. That's the shot you hope for right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. And here's Conley. Still without a bucket. And he lobs it up top. One of the league's better floor generals. Really over the last decade. Conley plays with an old school pass first mindset. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Bogdanovich, that's good. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. The Heat with the lead. Here's Whitmore. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got four rebounds now. And there's the foul. It's on Zach Levine. That's his first foul. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. The Heat making a switch here. Najee's checked in. Here's Bogdanovich, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Bogdanovich has got five now. Terrific feed from Valanciunas, a big man scanning the deck. Here's Whitmore outside, and again, Miami with a triple. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. Here's Wall. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Valanciunas. Trying to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Miami has gone two of two at the perimeter. Bridges against Jones. Again, the Heat scores. Now we've seen Bridges' offense take a considerable leap, change of scenery. This guy getting assertive and attacking is a good thing. Now here's Mobley. Outside Jones. Hook loose and stolen by Bridges. It's stolen by Bogdanovich. Bridges against Jones. To the paint. Bridges against Jones. Bridges misses. No question who's in control of the board so far. Jones in the post. He's guarded by Bridges. Jones misses. Despite the defensive presence, he challenges at the rim. Give him an A for effort. Conley looking for an opening. Shoots over Wall. Miami, no good that time either. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. And the layup is good. So physical for one. Wall has the size and skill to do work in the paint. 
Outside Conley. Shoots over Wall. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Heat out in front. Up three. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. Let's quickly break down what we've seen from the Heat. Was simple. Rebounding made all the difference in the first quarter. They really got after it. Yeah, rebounding can also be just about will, and they showed some of that in going in there and collecting some boards. And here's Anna Kumpo. He'll bring it up for Miami. It's a three-point game. Looking ahead, they've got the Mavericks coming to town for their next one. That'll be the first of three games played at home. John Wall is out there with C.J. McCollum. Then there's Bogdan Bogdanovich. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Valanchunas in at the center position. That's the group for Oklahoma City getting going in the second. Here's McCollum following the bucket by the Heat. Pass to Wall. Clark against Leonard. Five to shoot. Let's a three fly. Oh, Leonard laces it in from distance. And by the numbers, Kawhi is one of the most efficient three-point shooters ever. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. Went over and back. Let's look at the top rebounders from last season. In the third spot, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Simply put, he was terrific down low last year, owning the glass. Here's Wall. Pass to Valentunas. Back to Wall. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. It's a small piece of real estate on the court. But aside from shots at the rim, corner three. Now the most common shot in the NBA. And arguably the most efficient shot in the game. Obviously dunks and free throws are what you want most. But 22 feet away instead of 23-9. That half step closer, B.A., is making a difference in the shooting numbers. First one falls for him. Richards has checked in for Oklahoma City. Covington comes in for Bogdanovich. McDaniels is checked in for Miami. Levine comes in for Bridges. Good on both. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Leonard passes to Valanchunas. Back to Leonard. Pass to Richards. McCullum outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, the Thunder, another three. Finding some space out there on the perimeter was McCollum, and he finds ways to knock it down. Levine against Leonard. Now here's Levine. Defense is right there. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, some have called Kawhi Leonard a cyborg, but he said, quote, a coach can't put a battery in your back and tell you to play harder to go win games. You have to have the mindset, and you have to train your body to reach the level that you want to play at, guys. No doubt, he is always locked in. Thanks, Allie. Uh, CJ operating like a surgeon out there tonight. Outside Levine. Pass to McDaniels. That's tipped and stolen by Covington. McCollum with it, picked up by Simmons. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. 
Testament to the savvy of McCollum. The defender bites on his subtle move, then is left with no choice but to foul him. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. Just a smooth scorer is C.J. McCollum, and that combination of being confident and crafty keeps helping him pile up points in terms of his career statistics. Now he's at the line. And that one drops, so now they lead by one. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Here are the Heat now. Simmons, the pass to Ananakumpo. Back to Simmons. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Richards has got four rebounds now. There's McCullough with the three. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Leonard's got three assists now in this one. And here's Ananakumpo. He'll bring it up for Miami. Trailing by four. Looking to win the run. Oh, the strength of Giannis. This is what makes Giannis such an elite player. His ability to score in those difficult situations down low with lots of bodies around. Pass to Valentunas. And he goes in for the dunk. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Now here's Levine. There's the three, and the foul on Ben Simmons. ben Simmons. That's foul number two for him. Personal foul. First two foul. Here's Oklahoma City now. They're on a 15-6 run. It's Covington on the wing. Back to McCollum. Pass to Valanciunas. Richards with it. He lobs it up to the rim and stolen by Ana de Cupo. It's McDaniels on the wing. Leonard defending. Now Levine. The three ball. Richards pulls it in. Richards has got rebound number five here tonight. Well, Brent, when you talk about Giannis Antetokounmpo, still one of the league's elite players. An unbelievable B.A. the way he started off his career. You felt like there was an end to his improvement. That hasn't been the case. Just a strong work ethic, his desire to compete every day that he's in the gym, and the guy keeps getting better. That's scary. Free throw, no good. He wasn't quite as assertive as he needed to be in the first quarter, but now he's taking a more head-on approach and getting himself to the line. He hits the second from the line. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. Now Simmons. Outside Levine. From downtown. Ooh, Levine with another miss. 
Here's Oklahoma City now. They're on a 16 to 6 run. McCullum pass to Leonard. Outside Covington. Here's McCullum. Shot clock at six. Back to Covington. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Thunder lead by seven. I know CJ plays the two guard position alongside Lillard, but he does have point guard vision, and that's a great find. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten six of nine attempts to go in the second. Looking good. Back to Leonard. Pass to Richards. Yes, and it's Leonard with the assist that time. Leonard's got his fourth assist with that last one. They're locked in and focused on making each possession a success. That's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. Now here's Simmons. Alan Junis with a rebound. Here's Oklahoma City now. They're on a 20-6 run. Here's Leonard. Kawhi! Too strong inside. Man, Kawhi adding a floater to his game is a nightmarish scenario for any defender. McCollum against Simmons. Clark, the pass to Levine. Now here's Simmons. He's covered closely. And the basket by Clark. Yeah, the playmaking skills of Simmons are elite. The pass-first attitude he brings is what helps tie the team together. Now here's McCollum. He's got 18. Over on it, Akumpo. McCollum's shot is off. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. That's a tough rebound if you don't have the length that he does, so the size paying off. Leonard against Levine. Leonard right side. Pass to McCullum. Over on an Akumpo. On an Akumpo with the block. And here's McDaniels. Misses the three. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that, and that's a bad miscue, and you can't give up looks like that all game long. Now here's Leonard. He's got nine. Shoots over Levine. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Anadokounmpo has got seven rebounds in the game. McDaniels can't hit. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. McCollum finds Leonard. Now here's Richards. Simmons defending. Richards, the pass to McCollum. Six to shoot. The three is up. Tried to tip it in. Couldn't get it. And Simmons has got the ball here for Miami. On an Akumpo outside. Back to Simmons. And there's the lob. Oh, Giannis picking it out of the sky. Now, every night there's something that Giannis does on the floor. Where you just had to put your hands on your head. Wow, what a move. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. Here come your Thunder Evan Mobley, he's checked in for Richards. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for Covington. Jones, he's checked in for C.J. McCollum. And it's John Wall in for Kawhi Leonard. A big group substitution here for Miami. Najee, he's checked in for Clark. Whitmore comes in for McDaniels. Bridges, he's checked in for Zach Levine. And Conley subbed in for Simmons. Miami has gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Here's Conley. 
and the shot's good. You see the poise from the veteran Conley, showing no fear attacking the defense inside. Ball against Conley, and stolen by Anadokounmpo. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming this way. Second personal foul. Second team foul. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Thunder? They've done a great job facilitating shooters. Their early game has seen a lot of hot passes and has kept the defense guessing as well. Well, I like that they've also emphasized the three-point line. They've drained a good number from beyond the arc this year. Shoot two. One misses. How is it that Giannis always seems fired up? I mean, this guy has a true enthusiasm for the game and for competition. He just delivers night in and night out. That's what makes him a star. He's good on the second. Oklahoma City has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line in this one. To the inside, Jones. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Yeah, you can't be reckless in how you guard Jones because he's so skilled at getting to the free throw line. At the line for your defender. Jones, one shot. That's good from Jones. And for fans who follow year after year, it's so great to watch development in this league. Herbert Jones has a great build, good defensive instinct set, and is growing on offense. This is a development guy. Thunder with a lead. Outside wall. And he's going for the lob. And stolen by Ana de Kumpo. Fast break. Here come the Heat. Here's Conley. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Valanciunas has got seven rebounds in the game. Two minutes remaining in the first ball. Looking over the floor. With some arc. No good. You know, altered shots don't show up on the official stat sheet, but as we saw there, he does a great job of doing that as well as collecting the rebound. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Now here's Wall. Bogdanovich on the wing. Clock at six. Here's Valanciunas. And it's Miami with a rebound. It's stolen by Wall. One ten left in the first half of this one. Yep, count it. Still possesses impressive quickness. When Wall charges inside, he's tough to stop from scoring. And they call an illegal screen here. It's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. Fernando's checked in for Miami. And so it's Valanciunas who brings up the ball for the Thunder. They lead by seven. Bogdanovich passes to Valanciunas. Releases. Outside Bogdanovich. And it's going to be a three-second call. Miami's gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Inside. Shoots from 12. Bridges misses. 
Oklahoma City's gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Heat shooting an average of 43% from the floor. Outside Conley. Pass to Bridges. Six on the shot clock. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Jones. One second left. He can't hit that time. And so it's Oklahoma City closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. for NBA on 2K Sports right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. C.J. McCollum was on fire in the first half. He had 18 points and one rebound. Coming off a great performance last game, tonight he looked like he had that same aggressive mindset. Shaq, your thoughts on the Thunder? Three-point shot was their best friend. Not good because you want to work it, take advantage of it. I don't really like it. Live by the jump or die by the jump. But tonight, they're living and they're living good, baby. Kenny, what'd you think about Miami? They're getting mad and falling behind, letting the crowd get into it. That affects your confidence. We'll see if they settle down in the second half. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. Well, you know, C.J. McCollum has been really making an impact here, guys. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Miami trailing. And on the floor for Eric Spolstra starting the second half. Brandon Clark out there with McDaniels. Then it's Ben Simmons. Then it's Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's Levine in at the two spot. Oh, the body control of Giannis. They like to use Giannis in the pick and roll situations. He's getting better and better at understanding how to set the screens for the rolling target. Boy, he's a good one. McCullum pass to Leonard. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on Brandon Clark. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. Outside Covington. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. All right, let's look back on last season for a moment. Here were your scoring leaders. Fifth on the list, Giannis Antetokounmpo. This is a guy who never took a night off. You look at his numbers, and you know that he put in a tremendous effort every single game. And he's going for the oop here. Stolen by Mobley. Leonard against Levine. Leonard left side. It's Covington on the wing. Over McDaniels. Oh, rejected by McDaniels. Pass to Simmons. Second half of basketball. Just over a minute played so far. That one goes. Count it. Simmons has got his second bucket of the night. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Leonard against Tana Kumpo. Leonard passes to Mobley. Here's Clark. Lays it up and banks it in. Clark's got eight points. They have no answer defensively inside. Oklahoma City has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Leonard passes to Mobley. Back to Leonard. 
Oh, rejected by McDaniels. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. And after burying three straight shot opportunities, finally a miss there. Still feeling the momentum, though. Now here's Leonard. Nine points in the game. Back to Covington. Mobley finds Leonard. To the paint. Just five on the clock. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Covington doesn't have to have the ball to help you, but you do want him occasionally to get touches and keep him engaged. Robert Covington. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Well, a key piece in a couple of huge NBA trades. There's no doubt that teams value Robert Covington and his ability to play defense and shoot the three. That one falls, so he hits both of them. A great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Simmons. Five points in the game. McDaniels can't hit. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts, but otherwise the mindset is I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. For Miami, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Outside for Levine. Down low and stolen by Covington. From 12 feet. Oh, rejected by McDaniels. The floater. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Mobley's got rebound number five here tonight. Levine against McCollum. Mobley left side. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCollum. Mobley's got his third bucket of the night. There you go. Finally getting one to drop. They have to be a little better now, starting one for five in this half. Timeout called. The Heat. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Simmons against McCollum. McDaniels can't hit. The Thunder have gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. They pin that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. I think the defense let up a little bit. And thought CJ was an easy cover inside, but... He's too crafty. He gets the foul. For your home city, CJ McCollum.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for McCollum. And McCollum drops them both. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Miami trailing. Right side Simmons. And it's ben Simmons, Simmons with the jam. As point guards go, I don't know that anyone can throw it down like Simmons. He dunks timeout, more timeout. than most Not centers do. Oklahoma City calls timeout. Things have been since the All-Star break. Checking out the three-point shot ratio for Miami. And they've really been letting it fly from deep. You see more and more teams doing this in today's NBA, given the league's increased focus on perimeter shooting. Now here's Leonard. He's got nine. The ball's knocked loose. Just five to shoot. Here's McCollum, takes the 12-footer and hits it. McCollum's got four points in the quarter. How about CJ's focus on that play? The defense right up in his face, keeps his eyes on target, and buries it. And down it goes, two points. The Thunder have got just two of six in the second half. Pass to Mobley. Out to McCollum. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets the three-second call. And a quick check now on the teams that led the league from the charity stripe a year ago. Second, the Heat. Well, it was a big focal point for them last season, making good on their trips from the free throw line. The Heat have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Mobley against Tana de Kumpo. Mobley with the block. And he's able to get it back. And Jade McDaniels picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Bogdanovich has checked in for Oklahoma City. Thunder with a lead. Pass to Mobley. Back to Covington. And here's Richards. To the middle. Here's McCollum. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. For personal foul. For foul. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Thunder. Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. Uh, another part of the credit has to go to what they did on the inside oh, blocking shots. I mean, take super scrappy defensively and just affecting a lot of the opportunities that their opponents were putting up. And he drops the first. And the Thunder making a change here. 
Jones has checked in. Mike Conley's checked in for Miami. And McCullum drops them both. And Miami has possession. Outside Levine. Clark, the pass to Anadokounmpo. Connolly with the ball. Guarded by Covington. On the wing, Levine. Off the mark there with a three. And so McCullum will bring it up for Oklahoma City. Seven-point differential. Takes a three. Clark grabs the board. Clark's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Levine against Jones. Levine can't hit. Got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. To the inside. And Mobley gets it to go. Mobley's got four points this quarter. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. Now here's Conley. And there's a three-second violation. Three seconds. Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for Covington. Whitmore's checked in for Miami. Bridges comes in for Zach Levine. Here's Oklahoma City now. They're on a 12-4 run. Conley against McCullum. On the wing, Jones. Pass to Valanciunas. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Valanciunas has got his first two points. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. McCullum with a steal. And here's the fast break. Fourteen feet away. Giannis with the rebound. For Miami, they've gotten five of 12 shots to drop in the third. Here's Bridges. Miami, no good that time either. That's yeah, pretty much the only way to keep them from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. Now here's Valanciunas. McCullum, the pass to Mobley. Shot clock at six. Good D by Amada Kumpo. Miami shooting a disappointing 38%. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Brian Commissioner Adam Silver has done a 180, once in favor of raising the NBA age limit to 20. He now supports lowering it back to 18. He said it's the right thing to do, adding that the opportunity to work with players at a younger age on not just skills, but mental health, diet, character, and values could be in everyone's best interest. Yeah? Well, it didn't happen yet, Allie. We'll see. Now here's Bogdanovich. Misses the layup. Clark against Mobley. To win the drought. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Oh, he really fought for that one. Battling through contact to complete the play. John Wall, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Fernando's checked in for Miami. Najee comes in for Mike Conley.
free throw drops for Clark. Here's Wall. Pass to Mobley. Bridges against Jones. Wall for three. They get it back. The Heat have gotten six of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. Bridges outside. And it's Bridges with the jam. What a stuff there. Bridges doing it with authority. Oklahoma City has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. At the line, Simmons has checked in for Clark. John Wall. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one falls for Wall. And after a series of major injuries, Wall still remains one of the more athletic players in this league. Simmons with it. Seven points in the game. Pass to Fernando. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy basket. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. So it's the Thunder now. Now Wall. Seven points in the game. Outside Bogdanovich. Inside. Here's Mobley. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. 156 left in the third quarter. Oh, they get a hand on it. It's stolen by Bogdanovich. Pass to Jones. Buries it down low. Jones has got five points. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Simmons looking around. And the layup is good off the glass. He's got nine. Oh boy, the touch is coming back here in the second half. Percentages from the field much better than it was at the break. Here's Wall. Rebound by the Heat. Simmons has got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Bridges. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Bridges doing a good job fighting hard past the foul, even after the release. Mikhail Bridges taking two shots. First one falls. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet.
Bridges hits them both. Uh, Bridges is shooting a high percentage and the game really does come naturally to him. Now here's Wall. Seven points in the game. Valanciunas down low. Outside Jones. Pass to Bogdanovich. Clock at six. It's blocked. And here's Simmons. He's got nine. Throw it down on the lob. Terrific playmaking from Simmons. Getting the ball into his hands off a wide open shooter. Ball against Simmons. Outside wall. Here's Bogdanovich. Fernando grabs the miss. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. At least in the second half they have been. The first half wasn't played anywhere near this intense. Three quarters of play and a close one here. It's the Thunder up by three. And will return shortly. 67. And meanwhile, Eric Spolstra rallying the troops. Busted. Good to great. Good to great. Don't settle for average shots. Move it. And Coach Spolstra instructing his guys to look for the best option. Yeah, there's no reason to rush any bad shots, especially with 24 seconds to work with. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. They've got Robert Covington, Nick Richards out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then there's C.J. McCollum, and it's Wall in at the one. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. Miami trailing. Here's Simmons. the right side. Here's Whitmore outside. Richards pulls it in. Richards has got eight rebounds in the game. There's McCullum with the three. Fernando grabs the miss. Fernando's got four rebounds now. Well, a fast start in the first half. Looks like he's playing the second half in the mud. Here's Whitmore. Pass to Levine. Six to shoot. Here's Simmons. Here's Fernando. The shot misses. Good work defensively by Richards. Here's McCullum. McDaniels covering. McCullum's shot is off. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. Simmons with it. Simmons is double. Pass to McDaniels. Outside Levine. At the arc, Zach, Zach Levine. Levine. He had to get it away, and he did. Levine with the quick release. Here's Richards. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. And the Heat making a change here. Clark's checked in. The Heat have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Simmons, the pass to McDaniels. To take the lead and denied. He sends it right off the glass. To the paint. Here's Leonard. The claw flashing his way inside. And the strength of Leonard really undeniable showcasing it to the defense right there. Levine passes to Simmons. And he banks in the layup. With a tough road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. And so McCollum will bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. 
They've led by as many as 11. Pass to Richards. Out to Leonard. McCullum outside. Now here's Covington. Leonard outside. Fires the three. Clark grabs the board. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. Yeah, as good as you can do without getting a block there to defend. Down low. Tipped. Now Wall. McCullum outside. Six on the shot clock. And he sinks the 11-footer. McCollum's got 26 points. I feel like when CJ gets a couple of these to go, it accentuates his ability and confidence to score from the outside as well. Levine, good. Well, you can see and maybe feel right now him getting into the comfort zone out there after dropping the second three of the half. McCollum pass to Richards. Wall with it. McCollum on the wing. Back to Wall. Over Simmons. And there's another one for the Thunder. Nice job breaking down the defense. Wall takes these mid-range shades when the D gives him the chance. Outside Simmons. McDaniels with it. Richards picks him up. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. First two foul. At the line for the Heat, Jamie McDaniels. down the first one. Giannis Antetokounmpo checked in for Miami. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Thunder have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Outside wall. Clark against McCullum. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. McCollum's got 10 points in just the second half. Well, C.J. McCollum can go from second gear to fourth gear and back to second gear. A defense's nightmare. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. Oh, couldn't have asked for a more hotly contested game. <laughs> These teams have swapped the lead eight times. I believe it's coming down to the wire. Now here's McCollum. Here's Leonard. McDaniels with some nice D. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. And here are the Thunder now. After the basket by Miami. McCullum passed to Covington. Oh, what a play! It snatched out of the air. Credit the block. Out of Kumpo. The pass to Simmons. To the middle. Here's McDaniels. Blocked! Pushing it up the floor. Here comes Oklahoma City. Leonard for three. Yes! Kawhi beating the great team. He's taking what he can get here as a three in each half. Levine surveys the D. Pass to Clark. Simmons against Wall. Here's Clark. The Thunder pull it in. Richards has got rebound number 11. Simmons against Wall. McCullum outside. It's Covington on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Tries it from 19. Miami grabs the miss. 
you kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there, and of course that one was just crazy. Outside Simmons. On to Kumpo with it. Richards is there. Here's Levine for three. And he's six for 12 after that one. Oklahoma City has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. And out of bounds, the Heat will take it. And the Thunder making a change here. Bogdanovich is checked in. Levine against Leonard. Beyond the arc. Oh, my goodness! That's He'll good. go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Heat. Well, not content to take what the defense gives them. I mean, they're attacking the gaps and getting the ball inside. We probably have to touch on as well that tonight their penetration has been awesome. I mean, they put force on this game attacking off the bounce and a willingness to do that has paid off a creative score and incredible athlete Levine is exactly what you want offensively from your two guard and play stops a whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen and, and in the last two possessions they've painted a picture of what not to do just way too loose with the basketball Jonas Valanciunas has checked in for Bogdanovich Miami has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. He recognized his players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. Kumpo. And he kept the opponents off balance all night long. Just swatting down shot after shot, disrupting their offense. He was a one-man defensive wrecking ball, and they never found a way around him. I'm telling you, the added pressure of the road really brings out the best in him. You can tell he enjoyed playing so well in front of an unfriendly crowd. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolster said to the team. He loves what the D has been able to accomplish, saying to his team, every turnover is a big success for us. Keep forcing those errors. Don't let them feel comfortable out there. So expect them to keep trying to be disruptive. As always, Allie, we thank you. Five on the clock. He shoots. McDaniels can't hit. We've been able to have some team success in this game, despite what's been an awful shooting night for him. A chance to get a quick injury report. Thanks. I just talked with Oklahoma City's head athletic trainer. He told me it's a dislocated finger that's causing a good deal of pain right now. And with the playoffs looming, the last thing he wants to deal with is this injury. Hopefully he doesn't miss the postseason. Guys, back to you. All right, that's good intel. We've definitely been thinking of him. And now we have some more clarity, guys. Yeah, they now have all the information they need in order to determine the next steps. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. Here's McCullum. The Heat making their last shot. Who poked away. Simmons with it. Guarded by Covington. Simmons with the bucket. And now a nine-point Miami lead. 
D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Here's Ana de Kumpo outside McDaniels. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. There's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. McCullum. Oh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Oklahoma City, C.J. McCullum. And he makes a first. Richards is checked in for Oklahoma City. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Outside Simmons. On to Kumpo inside. Mobley's on him. McCullum looking it over. Count it. McCullum's got seven now in this quarter. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Now here's Ana Kumpo. Pass to Levine. Clock at six. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Leonard. Leonard all alone. No doubt about it. And who do you call when you need a big bucket for this team more and more? It's Kawhi. Here's Levine for three. And count it. Eight of 14 now. He's rolling. Oh, you have to applaud Levine's work ethic. He gives his all to find points for his team. Pass to Leonard. There's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Jaden McDaniels picks one up. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. At the line for your Oklahoma City, Kawhi Leonard. Hits the first one, and that shrinks the margin to just four. Certainly a reliable free throw shooter, but these always feel different. Let's see if Kawhi can focus in. And Leonard drops them both. He knows just how important these shots are, and he makes them count. it up and the lob disrupted not to be lets it fly here's Mobley and it's blocked by Clark there's a minute 17 left to play in the fourth it's tipped it's Covington on the wing McDaniels covering for Leonard. And now the go-to guy in these situations. Leonard can handle that kind of pressure in the big moment as well as anyone. Miami has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. To the paint. 
Here's Ana Nakumpo. Good D by Mobley. Got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Now here's Leonard. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. High post, Clark. Back to Simmons. Outside, McDaniels. Six to shoot. is off. Oh, solid D from Leonard. Timeout called. The Thunder. They're losing by one. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what do you think? It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. And sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. seconds left in the final quarter. McCullum outside. Pass to Covington to take the lead. So it's the Heat taking the W at a close one. And this was an emotional win for them. No doubt about it. Just a fantastic accomplishment. We love how they just diffuse the energy in this arena. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Giannis, an impressive performance. Talk about what this game showed you about your team. Well, this game was great. I think everybody came out ready. Everybody played great. We were moving the ball. We knocked down shots. But most importantly, we were playing great defense. But at the end of the day, it's just a win. We've got to build off this. We've got to go back to the gym, watch film, and get better. It's just one piece of a greater goal. That's right. Thanks, Giannis. All right, Allie, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So alongside Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.